Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about tabular task lists and trackers in Apple Notes. Brilliant visual ways to see the list of tasks you need to complete, their statuses and when you need to do them. Um, it's going to be fairly uh, easy to follow. I'm going to explain everything around creating those lists, but along the way, I'm going to give you suggestions on how to speed up the process so you can spend less time creating and managing the lists and more time getting things done. Now, there is a lot to cover, so let's get started. So the first thing to understand is that I'm going to be using emojis to create these layouts. And the reason I'm using emojis is demonstrated, hopefully, by this little banner that I've created. Uh, using uh, the white square and the blue square. And um, what you can see here is that because they have the same width, they stay perfectly aligned, forming columns and rows that don't move. It's like having a little matrix, which helps massively when you try to create something that stays in place, irrespective of the text that you then write. Um, in Apple Notes, unfortunately, the type of text is not fixed width, which means that different letters occupy different spaces, and if you use those letters, you break the layout. But by using emojis or monostyle text in Apple Notes, we can maintain the same fixed width layout, which is so helpful when we are trying to visualize things. The only thing to bear in mind is that different devices have a different uh, window size. So on my Mac, for example, this banner shows perfectly, and I can expand or reduce the window as much as I want. But on my mobile, these lines would break because my mobile is not wide enough to show all the, all the emojis. You can uh, sort of influence this, the space you have on your iPhone especially by changing the uh, text magnification. For example, I have set mine to 85%, so I've got a bit more real estate. To change your text magnification, you go to Control Center and you should see the slider for the text magn magnification. When you click on it, you can decide to apply the, that level of magnification just to Apple Notes, and then you can slide uh, down or up depending on your needs. Of course, the, the smaller text is, the more text you can fit in a single line without breaking whatever layout we are creating. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's move on to the tabular task list. So, tabular task list. Um, I've explained this thing in detail in my previous video uh, a couple of weeks ago, which I invite you to watch if you haven't. But long story short, this is a visual representation of my tasks um, arranged by uh, day of the week, depending on their priority or whatever I feel like. And as you can see, this one is the week between 3rd to 9th of March, which I've collapsed by setting this header as a subheading. And if I expand it, you will see that there is a matrix here with a list of tasks on the right and a list of columns before those tasks. So let's review them in order. At the top, there is a header that represents with numbers from one to seven, the days of the week. Number one for me is a Monday, number seven is a Sunday. I know that some people, for example, in the States may prefer to use one equals to Sunday and seven equal to uh, Saturday. You can choose whatever you want. But the overall idea is that I'm using these emojis so the the width is uh, fixed and I can create columns using the other symbols. And then I've got a series of lines. Um, the basic shape here is this small square, which is, again, an emoji, which I use to represent a day where there are no commitments. And then a series of additional symbols that represent specific statuses of my uh, tasks. So, for example, let's review the basic one, which is this one. Um, helping kids with homework is planned, as you can see here, by this symbol on day six. So to create this line, for example, I've uh, written down the name of the task, helping kids with uh, homework. And before that uh, line, I've added one, two, three, four, five white square emojis, then one for the task planned on that day. I'm using this round gray um, shape for that. And then another empty white square. And if you open your emoji picker, either on your phone or on your Mac, the key combination is control command space on the Mac. You will see that uh, when you go to the emojis and the symbols, there are plenty of symbols to choose from. Um, in my case, I'm using this little white square for an empty day, and then a series of additional symbols that sort of resonate with me, and you can choose your own to um, represent a specific status. So going back to my list, for example, if you look at this line, pick up groceries was planned and completed 
on, uh, on a Monday, the first day of the week. So originally on the Monday, I had this symbol. And when I completed this, I went in, highlighted it, and then I pressed. Uh, I clicked on this uh, green completion symbol here in my emoji picker in order to swap the two. Um, this line here, there is some work in progress. So I'm using the blue diamonds to represent work in progress. Originally, this uh, task of cleaning up the garage was planned for a Monday. But at the end of that day, it was still in progress. So I've um, used a blue diamond to represent that. On the following day, the Tuesday, it was still in progress. Clearly, it took a while to clean the garage. And on the third day, Wednesday, it was finally completed. Now, this is a demo list, of course. It's just random stuff. You may have more detailed tasks or bigger tasks, depending on your own workflow. But the principle still applies. This row here, the meditation, 15 minutes of meditation, it's a recurring task. As you can see, it's planned for three days uh, a week on Tuesday, day two, Thursday, day four, and Saturday, which is day six. But apparently, I didn't manage to complete my meditation on day two, and that's why I'm using a uh, red cross to indicate that. This way, I can keep track of my completions, the status of my tasks, and so on. I'm using um, a few more symbols here, like this uh, little arrow, that basically tells me that I decided to move, to postpone that task, maybe to the following week, or maybe to defer it forever. Maybe I even moved it to my not-to-do list at some point. So it was originally planned for the Wednesday, the staff one-to-one -one check-in, but then for whatever reason, I moved it. So I kept track of that postponement by using this little uh, symbol. The other two symbols that you haven't seen here are this one, which I used to indicate something that I need to chase. For example, approving reports probably means that there is someone that needs to send me the report in the first place. So I'm waiting on that person to receive the report. And that's why on a Thursday, I need to chase if that report hasn't landed on my desk. And the final one is this. I'm using this little icon of a fire to indicate something which is important. In this case, on a Thursday, I've got my family cinema night planned and it's an important event for me. The same thing applies uh, to the following weeks. So this way you can basically plan your weeks in advance. You may even have tasks that are not planned. Um, in that case, you will have a series of seven white squares indicating that you haven't decided yet when to do that thing. Now, I'm um, gonna show you how to create this list step by step, because there were lots of questions on my previous video around how to actually uh, create the list. So I'm going to show you how to um, start from a list and get to this level of detail. So let's get going. In this example here, I've jotted down a few potential tasks. Uh, how many are they? Eight tasks. Okay. So at the moment, it's just a list of tasks. There is no indication of when I want to complete these tasks. I may decide that I only want to complete four of them this week or maybe all of them. Let's assume I want to do all of them. So I'm going to start by adding the headers at the beginning, representing the days of the week. This is really easy. You just open your emoji picker and you go to the symbols uh, page, which has the numbers here. And this is really easy now. I simply double click on one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I've created my headers for the columns that I'm going to create in a second. These represent the days of the week in whichever format you choose to use. In my case, as I said, one is a Monday. Now I'm going to move to the following line where I have my first task of this list. Clean my bedroom. Okay, if that is a task, let's say I want to do this on a Wednesday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, my symbols here, to the white square. I'm going to create I'm going to add two of these white squares because on uh, Monday and Tuesday, I'm not going to work on this. Then I'm going to add this symbol here on the Wednesday because I'm planning to do this task on a Wednesday. And then four more empty symbols. At this point, my week, um, this task has been assigned to a specific day, which is the third day of the week. And then I can do the same with all the other lines. Now, I'm going to redo it just to show you again how I do this thing. But after doing this line, I'm going to show you a much better and quicker way to achieve the same thing. 
So for the finance presentation, I want to work on this on the Monday because it's going to be an important event. So I'm going to do the task on the first column, which is the Monday, and then a series of white squares. Okay, now this is done. I've got something planned for the Wednesday, clean the bedroom, and something planned for uh, the Monday. Now, I can continue in exactly the same manual way, uh, adding different icons if I need to, and so on. But I've developed a better, a quicker way using text replacement. So let's say I want to do this car cleanup on a Saturday. I go to the beginning of the line and I type, in my case, TTT6 space, and look at that. It's given me already an entire line with this task planned on a Saturday. Now, I'm going to do it again, birthday party. This, let's say, happens on a Sunday. So again, I'm going to do TTT7 space, and this is now planned for a Sunday. And this is really quick. And once you get into the muscle memory of pressing a specific key combination, planning your week becomes extremely quick. Um, let me do it again. Um, I want to read my book. And for example, this I'm going to do on uh, Tuesday, second day of the week. And there you have it. Now, the way I am achieving this is by using text replacement. So if you open your settings on your Mac and you go, or maybe even on your um, iPhone, and you go to the keyboard section and you click on text replacement, you see that there is the possibility to define your own uh, keyboard combinations. This basically means, for example, in this case, when I write, when I type this, TTT1, as in tabular task, uh, whatever, one, this is what my Mac is actually printing. Um, a circle for the first day of the week, and then six empty spaces. And I've created one for the first, the second, the third, and so on. So for every day of the week, there is a corresponding layout that I can create. I've also created um, a text replacement for the header. So if I type TTTH, the entire header will be printed. And if I type TTTL for line, an empty line is going to be printed. I've uh, even created a reminder for me of all the symbols that I use that I can print with TTTS. So Going back here, for example, um, if I want to print all my uh, symbols, TTTS for symbols, and now I have them. And the reason why I do this is that during the week when I want to replace one of these symbols with the corresponding outcome, for example, the green one, I can simply copy this one and then double click this symbol and paste. And this way I've uh, basically skipped a few steps I don't have to open the emoji picker and uh, scroll down to the relevant symbol. I've got everything here. And uh, just to demonstrate, if I type TTTH for header, I'm going to have this one, which is going to be useful to create the planning for another week. And as I've said, TTTL for line gives me a, an empty line. Useful for tasks that don't have a plan date yet. Now, another interesting thing that we can do, let me cancel this, is that I can, let's say, plan this for a uh, Wednesday and plan this for a Sunday and bake bread, I don't know, for another Wednesday. So now I've got, and this one was actually planned, let me redo this at the beginning of the week. So at the beginning of the week, I will have a list that looks like this. Now, one thing that I could do, which would help with visually planning my week, would be to sort those lines so they are in a cascading way. So all the tasks planned for the Monday would be before the task planned for the Tuesday, before the ones on a Wednesday, and so on. I can do this. It's a bit more uh, cumbersome on the iPhone because you have to select the entire line and then tap and hold and then move it around. On a Mac, it's easier because you can simply click on a single, on a specific line and then press Control, Command and the arrow up or down to move the entire list to where you want to go. But there is an even better way, which is this one. I can select my entire list and then I press a keyboard combination, which I've defined and a little automation will start and will sort all the items for me. And I click OK to copy to clipboard and then paste. So if I click OK and then I press Control V to paste, now my list is sorted in the correct way. This automation is free to download. If you check the description below, you will see the link to download the automation. And this is a very easy and simple way to actually speed up the process because once you've learned 
all your uh, text replacement and shortcuts and you use this automation, the creation of a task list like this takes literally seconds. And by the way, you can still change and move things around. Um, for example, if you want to move this one, let's say to a Monday, when only these symbols for plan tasks are um, available, you can still highlight, press the keyboard combination, click OK, and then paste, and things will be sorted again. And by the way, to create your own text replacement, you open keyboard and then text replacement, you click on the plus symbol, and then you can define the sentence that you want to type to be replaced with something else. So for example, you could highlight here the list of symbols that you wanted to um, have uh, replaced, copy and paste it here. And then you can define your own uh, text, whatever resonates with you. The only recommendation is not to use something that could be uh, typed maybe in the middle of a word, because if that's the case, Apple will immediately replace it with whatever you've defined here. So in my case, I've chosen three T's and then H for the header, and then I could click on add. I'm not going to do this because I've already uh, created that text replacement. And you can create one with all the symbols you want to use. Maybe your workflow doesn't have so many states. Maybe you've got planned, done, and cancelled. So in that case, you will have three symbols. So I think this covers pretty much all the questions and comments that I got uh, in the previous video.